Good morning. Good morning. It is morning, isn't it still? Yeah. Diane O'Kelly asked you this, I think, on Sunday. 17th straight days without a break, you know, dealing with a short bench. Did it feel like maybe the break did come at a good time? Maybe maybe have a chance to just take a few days away and, and hit the reset button for starting the second half? <laughs> uh, in general, I think every team in baseball is going to go the break came at a perfect time because it was just, you know, you need that break in the middle in there. So I'd say in general, it came at a good time for us. A lot of games in a row. But in general, you know, if you get past it, anywhere I've ever been, teams are looking forward to that break no matter what. Just, uh, we know Pablo today. How's the rest of the rotation kind of line up after the second? Yeah. I think we'll Brax. Um, I think it's Brax, Max, Sandy. Any method to that madness? Absolute method. I think Mel's going to do anything with that rotation without thinking about it. Well, Sandy obviously pitched in the game. We worked backwards from really from Sandy. We wanted Pablo to go quick. Um, the last couple of years, he's had trouble with the extra days during the break and, and came back out of it not good. So we want him to go be the first guy out and be the least amount of time between throwing. Um, then we worked backwards from Sandy and then just tried to give the rest accordingly where guys weren't getting too much, uh, too many days, um, that type of thing. So just kind of work with their days and try to keep it at uh, somebody get 10 or you know days or something like that. Sandy oh. looked just as sharp in the All-Star game as he did during the first half of the season. Did you have a chance to watch uh, the guys compete on Tuesday night? I got to see Sandy. I didn't make it to Coop. So, uh, although I did see him take strike three, uh, a highlight of that. Uh, so, but yeah, I did get to see Sandy. It was it was good to see. Him. How uh, gratified were you to see three Marlins actually make the trip to L.A. Even though Jazz didn't play, Garrett did, and of course Sandy looked pretty well. And a lot of us really believe he should have started anyways. Yeah, I think it's it's good to see your guys that you know doing. You know, getting recognized. Uh, obviously, Jazz got voted, which is good. Sandy, flat out, was, you know, if not the best pitcher in at least in the National League, then he's got to be one of the you know, top two. I don't know how you want to say it, but he was pretty good. Uh, and then Coop to get recognized, I think, and, and be a replacement in there was was a good thing because it kind of showed the player recognition. When the players recognize uh, when your peers recognize you. You know, it's pretty gratifying for guys when that happens. Donnie, what, what's a day look like today for you when you have the number one draft pick here? You, do you have a chance to check that out, or are you just too worried about other things, or are you excited about seeing this kid? No, I'm excited about meeting you, but a lot going on. Obviously, day after the break, it's kind of a weird game from the standpoint. It's one game, pairing, you, know, you do all your same preparations as you would in a three-game set. Uh, and then you're traveling and doing it again you know, right after the game. So it's kind of a different game. And then coming after the break, being a day game is, is another thing to it. But yeah, excited about meeting the kid. And, uh, obviously, I'm sure he's excited, you know, getting his career started and the whole thing. They say he's pretty close. Do you whisper in his ear, hey man, uh, when are you ready to go? Or? I told Kim to stick him in AAA. Let's see what goes on. <laughs> Bob Warner went right to the big leagues, didn't he? I think <laughs> some guys, so why not take a shot? No, I don't, obviously, I don't have anything to do with where they go or how they start, but um, obviously recognized as one of the top you know, hitters in, in college. And, um, so what's the next step? Right? Does it have to be rookie ball? I don't know. I know, Don, this is one of those weird quirks in the schedule. What, because of the lockout, you see Texas one time today. You get them twice in September. I know we joked around about the Angels, you know, that weird uh, home stand. So how do you, when you look at the Rangers and what you're going to do later on, and then you go to Pittsburgh, how do you approach that with the mindset, just a one-game series and then going on to Pittsburgh? Yeah, you just get prepared, right, uh, for who they are. You know, they, got a, they got a lot of different looks to you. They get left and right combinations. They got good speed. Uh, they can do some things. So they're they're a, they're a dangerous club. So you really just prepare for them like you would anybody else, even though it's only one game. And then you move on. 
Sunday when we spoke to you mentioned you know enough of almost like that work the load management this and that just is that something you have to like tell the higher ups is it something you tell the players like hey we need to is it just kind of everyone needs to accept like we need to be well i think it's more of a mindset you're still going to give guys days off if they need them and things like that but i think it's, it's really saying we got to push we got to go forward we can't be looking at it like we got a lot of baseball left even though there's, there's a decent amount of games left but we don't have time to you know be playing around and hoping things work out it's time to Really try to start putting your best lineup out there on a daily basis. Donnie, with that being said, you're five and a half out of the wild card. And there's plenty of baseball being played, obviously, over the halfway point. But as you kind of hit the reset button here, what do you want to see out of your ball club? Not to say there hasn't been a sense of urgency, but do you need to see more? What do you want to see from the dugout? Well, I think as much as anything, more consistency. And I guess urgency is a decent word uh, for it um, because we've got to start being able to put wins on the board and whatever that takes to get that. Is it pitching? Is it scoring runs? Is it better defense? Is it better base running? All the things that, it, that you need to do to win games. I think that's where we, we need to be. And, uh, so we're pretty much as simple as that without putting one word on it. A sense of urgency is definitely uh, the word that I would use. Thank you. Okay. So some swimming, huh?